Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, we um, are presenting a cloud native uh, benchmark index today. I am Ritika Ganguly from Intel and my partner in crime is Lee Calcote from Layer 5. This is a cloud native value measurement and it's pretty exciting. So let's get started. Lee. Ritika, we're, uh, as you know, we're missing some performance characteristics. Um, we are, uh, well, well, well in, any number of you in the audience have a lot of metrics that you use to track your environments, um, and actually maybe too many. It might actually, if you think about it, it might actually take you a little while to articulate the and characterize the performance of your environment. If you had to boil that down to a single metric, maybe to a handful of metrics, what, what, what would those be? Golden signals, maybe some signals from the red method. Or if you had to boil it down to one. You know, I, I don't know that we have a just a clear and concise way of conveying, you know, the of characterizing the performance of your environment. Nor do we have a single kind of true north uh, measurement. We're also, you know, quite frequently overlooking business performance, which is in large respect to why we're running the infrastructure in the first place. We, we usually talk about performance and cold, hard, quantitative uh, speeds and feeds. But instead, I would submit to you that performance could should be you know it should absolutely be measured in terms of speed and speeds and feeds but it's a lot more meaningful to layer in the value and to quantify the value that your infrastructure is providing so we're really kind of missing the business performance aspects of what we're tracking how we're characterizing so the discussion that we're having today falls under the umbrella of uh, CNCF project, the Service Mesh Performance Project. This project is at its core probably a specification for capturing the details of your environment in a uniform way, in a consistent way, capturing your infrastructure configuration, your service mesh configuration, and characterizing the details of your workloads. And doing so um, consistently such that you can baseline your environments, you can benchmark them in a consistent way, share with others, maybe um, compare with the performance that others are having. To the extent that it's codified, you can have system to system exchange of this information. And so SMP is a CNCF project as of, well, I guess it's, it's maybe less than a year now. There's some research aspects to what service mesh performance is as well. Sure, and so we have all been involved with the uh, with the SMP project for more than a year now, uh, with uh, people in our teams contributing, and it's an extremely um, useful um, uh, you know set of tools. And as part of that, we uh, introduce uh, MeshMark. Um, MeshMark, uh, like I mentioned, it's a cloud native value measurement. Uh, from value, you're essentially trying to measure if the performance of your infrastructure matches what you want to get from your deployment, what kind of value you want to get, uh, business value you want to get from your deployment. So, for example, um, if you have some key performance indicators, do you want uh, to measure uh, whether uh, the mesh mark value is uh, you know, directly responsible for how, say, your video gets uh, loaded or your image gets loaded on a particular web page. So often you'll see when you have a YouTube video uploaded, it will have only the text and not the video. And so uh, what happens is you do not um, want that kind of an experience. You want the video to be and the images to be loaded first. As you see in this uh, video here inside Etsy, if you click on something, you may often see the text get uh, you know, rendered first and then the video. The load latency um, of the video traffic um, is what impacts uh, you see visually. And so the deployment of your um, cloud native environment 
uh, is now uh, if it can be indexed through a mesh mark ratio, your load latency will be directly proportional to that. And then the number of resources you're using to deploy this environment to get a particular uh, lower latency or a higher latency is a, a usage metric, and that's directly proportional to your mesh mark. The TCO of your application hence becomes directly related to mesh mark. And so how do we go ahead and define what is mesh mark? And here is a definition that we propose and we are working towards uh, building this up. Essentially, you have utilization of different kinds of resources, and these utilization classes um, are uh, can be categorized as, for example, a compute utilization or a network utilization or um, any other resource utilization could be a utilization class. And as part of that class, you will have some efficiency metrics, which we call MUE, and we'll define that. Attach weights to those MUE have a set of one to N metrics with weights, and you sum them up uh, as a ratio of the number of MUEs. And that becomes your mesh mark. You can give weights, you can give higher priority to utilization one or N, and you have mesh mark, which and one index, which can tell you how well it is mapped to your value ve vector. So uh, as next steps, we look at one specific MUE. So what is an MUE? It's a calculation combined uh, ratio of measured platform resources to assigned resources. If you are able to um, measure what your assigned resources are in whatever form, and able to also uh, you know, monitor what's the measure, uh, what's the used resources, you can have this ratio. So for example, a very simple one is CPU performance, and you would want to see if the per CPU performance uh, as, uh, as, a, as a ratio to the available resources is a loss or, or a gain. So CPU performance raw loss over total CPU is our MUE1, and that's just one minus CPU utilization over 100. That's a very simple ratio, and if you see on uh, the right hand side, the graph shows you that as the latency increases, your MUE lowers. And so that's a very good indicator that your efficiency of your infrastructure is not very good because your latencies are increasing as your uh, QPS increases. So it's very easy to then take action based on my MUE is lower, let me take action. And that's something we, we can address in future um, discussions. So like this, you can you know, measure and create other MUEs. Um, we will look at how, to, uh, how you can visualize this within an environment. And so let's look at the demo, Lee. Sure, let's jump into a sibling CNCF project called Meshery. Meshery is a cloud native management plane. Users of Meshery can configure their Kubernetes deployments, um, any and every service mesh, as well as onboard and offboard their workloads onto any given mesh. Let's take an example workload, a console application, load it into the visual designer. Take a look at the service splitting functionality of console and note in this case, we're assigning a weight of three when we can change that to four to derive its mesh mark, which is a mesh utilization efficiency calculation of the efficiency by which that network function is being performed. We could also take a look at service intentions of console and examine the efficiency of that network function. Now that you've seen the demo, um, we want to go ahead and you know, publish the results and call everyone to get together, give us feedback. And if you have a unique use case, join us. Um, what say, Lee? What else? Yeah, we um, are continually looking for people to give descriptions of their workloads. We want to make sure that the workloads under test are, you know, fairly accurate representations, are interesting representations to you. There are a few different predefined tests that are being run, and those are being run by some of the contributors in the project within the CNCF labs, so within controlled environments. At the moment, there are upwards of about 40,000 test results that have been collected. And so a lot of data to be analyzed and to be published. So part of the goal here is to begin 
publishing some mesh marks. Ritika, thanks so much for engaging in the definition of mesh mark. This has been amazing.